Welcome to my class. My name is Patricia. Today's lesson is about making negative sentence. So in making negative sentence or positive sentence, normally we start with subject prefix. So in any time when you want to make a sentence, remember you, you have to start with subject prefix. Um, so we have positive subject and we have negative subject. So I'm showing subject positive a subject neg negative which this is our today's topic so we have ni which is i u which is you a which is she or he tu which is we m which is you all and wa which is they so in negative which is our main topic today we have c which is i who, which is you, ha, which is she or he, ha to, which is we, ham, which is you all, and hawa, which is they. So, in making negative sentence or positive sentence, you start with subject, then you move forward to the uh, tenses. So, in making past sentence, we use li. For the positive sentence remember our last topic and in making past sentence for the negative sentence we use ku so let's take a look for this example our first example nilinunua machungwa nilinunua machungwa this is a positive sentence which means I bought some oranges. Nilinunua machungwa. If you want to say, I didn't buy some oranges in Swahili, we say, Siku nunua machungwa. We use ku for the negative in past tenses. So, Siku nunua machungwa. Nilinunua machungwa. Sikununua machungwa. Why we use C? We use C for this negative uh, subject C because uh, in the past I, I said nilinunua machungwa, which means ni stand to represent I and C stand to represent I as well. So nilinunua machungwa for the negative sentence you say si ku nunua machungwa i didn't buy some oranges another example is ali fundisha vizuri remember li is for the past tenses which are positive ali fundisha vizuri that means he or she taught very well so if you want to say she didn't teach very well, which is negative uh, tense. You say, Ha ku fundisha vizuri. Ha ku fundisha vizuri. Why I use ha? Because a stands to represent she or he. And ha, which is negative form, stands to represent she or he. For this a is for the positive. Uh, and ha is for the negative subject which represents she which means she or he so hakufundisha vizuri that means he or she didn't teach very well so the next part is present tense so to make a present tense sentence we use na Na stands to represent a present tense sentences. For example, uh, ni nanunua machungwa. Na stands to represent a present present tense uh, into positive form of a sentence. So, ni nanunua machungwa, that is present, which means I am buying some oranges. So, how can we change this sentence, Nina nunua machungwa, into negative form of sentence? 
I am buying some oranges. If I want to change this sentence into negative, that means I am not buying some oranges. So if you want to say I am not buying some oranges in Swahili, how can you say that sentence? So to make a negative sentence into a present tense, to make a negative sentence into a present tense, remove na, take off last letter in the verb, which is a, and put i, put i. So this is a formula. If you want to change this sentence, ni nanunua machungwa, which is I am buying some oranges, some oranges, sorry, a, into a negative form, that means I am not buying some oranges. In Swahili, you will say sinunui machungwa. Remember, ni stands to represent I and C, this I, ni, is for the positive, but for the negative, we use C, which stands to represent I. So, C, nu, nu, I, machungwa. Take off the last letter of uh, the verb, which is A, and put I. So, if we remove A and we put I, we put I, that will be C, nu, nu, I, machungwa for the negative form of a sentence sinunui machungwa which means i am not buying some oranges okay the second example is anafundisha vizuri anafundisha vizuri na stands to represent a present tense remember and fundisha is a verb and vizuri means good anafundisha vizuri that means he or she is teaching very well. So, how can you say in a negative form that she is not um she is not teaching well? Anafundisha vizuri that means she is teaching well or he is teaching very well. So, if you want to change this sentence into a negative form, you will say ha fundishi vizuri. Ha fundishi vizuri. Remove na and change the last vowel of uh, the last letter of a verb, which is a, and put i. So we don't put na here. We remove na and we say ha funde she. We put i in the last letter of our verb and we say ha funde she vizuri. Why we use ha? A we use for he or she into a positive form and ha we use for he or she into a negative form so remember that uh, formula so for the future tense we use ta for the um, positive sentence and ta for the negative sentence so let's take a look the first example says Nitanunua machungwa. I will buy some oranges. Nitanunua machungwa. I will buy some oranges. So, how can we change this uh, sentence into a negative form? Nitanunua machungwa. How can we say that I will not buy some oranges in Swahili? So, ni tanunua machungwa. Ni stands to represent I. So, but for the positive form. For the negative form, we use C. But remember, in our uh, future tenses, we use ta for the positive and for the negative. So, ni tanunua machungwa. Negative form will be Sitanunua machungwa. I will not buy some oranges. Sitanunua machungwa. So this one is very easy. The second example is Atafundisha Vizuri. Atafundisha Vizuri. That means he or she will teach very well. 
So, atafundisha vizuri, this is a positive form of a sentence. So, how can we change this sentence into a negative form? Atafundisha vizuri. A stands to represent he or she for the positive uh, subjects, for the positive sentences. And for the negative sentences, we use ha. So, atafundisha vizuri, we change this sentence into a negative form and it will be hata fundisha vizuri. Hata fundisha vizuri. We use ha. This here is a, but here is ha. Hata fundisha vizuri. Ta is the same for the uh, um for the uh positive sentences and negative sentences but in future tenses so this is how we change the sentences which are in positive into negative sentences thank you so much for watching this is the end of today's lesson so in order to understand how to change these sentences into negative form or into positive form you have to do some practices every day so remember to do some practices every day and you'll be familiar with swahili language thank you so much see you next time but remember to subscribe share this channel to your friends who are interested in learning swahili language asante sana kwaheri